There is only one God, la ilaha illallah. Lord of both the earth and sky, who knows all the answers to where, what, and why, there is only one God, la ilaha illallah. I have seen the perfection of all creation in every creature and leaf. And I don't understand any woman or man who denies the one true belief. There is only one God, la ilaha illallah. Inna alhamdulillah, nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'afiruhu. Wa na'udhu billahi min shuroori anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina. Man yahdihi allahu fala mudilla lah, wa man yudlil fala hadiya lah. وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله Brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome again to the best of stories from the Quran Brothers and sisters in Islam One of the characteristics of the stories that Allah سبحانه وتعالى narrated to us in the Quran that they are events that actually happened. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says after telling the story of Ala Imran in Surah Ala Imran إِنَّ هَذَا لَهُوَ الْقَصَصُ الْحَقَّ This is a true story. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Kahf when he talks about the companions of the cave. نَحْنُ نَقُصُّ عَلَيْكَ نَبَأَهُمْ بِالْحَقَّ Indeed, we are telling you, O Muhammad, their story, what happened exactly. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about the Pharaoh and Musa, نَتْلُوا عَلَيْكَ مِنْ نَبَأِ مُوسَى وَفِرْعَوْنَ بِالْحَقَّ True story, true stories, is not fabricated, is not made up. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us to narrate the stories, to relate the stories. Of course, he is commanding the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and we inherited that command. فَقْصُصِ الْقَصَصَ O Muhammad, relate the story, لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ So that they may reflect upon it. Why do we reflect upon the stories, brothers and sisters in Islam? To reach some benefits, things that can benefit us. And these benefits, brothers and sisters in Islam, accommodate us once we go through calamities, once we go through hardships. And this is what we call tasliya. Once you see someone else who endured what you are enduring, this will make you. And especially if you see that the person who endured what you are enduring was someone who is better than you in rank, a prophet or a messenger. The story of today, brothers and sisters in Islam, I wanted to relate it to those who are afflicted with children who are not righteous and pious. In spite of them, doing their very best to help their children to be pious and righteous. They send them to good Islamic schools. They cared so much about their Islamic education. They were good role models. They did their best. But yet, their children ended up to be not righteous and pious. What an affliction this is. What a heartbreaking hardship, distress this is. You know why? Because that child, you end up losing him or her in this world. They will not be dutiful to you. A corrupt child will actually, subhanAllah, harm you. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, كما في صحيح البخاري حديث عبد الله بن عمرو بن العاص، he said one day 
it is one of the major sins min akbar al kabair ay yal'ana ar rajul walidayhi ay yal'ana ar rajul walidayhi that a person curses his own parents the companion said ya rasulullah kayfa yasubbu ar rajul walidayhi kayfa yasubbu ar rajul walidayhi how can a person curses his own parents qala yasubbu ar rajul aba ar rajul fa yasubbu aba wa yasubbu umma a corrupt child will end up cursing other children and these children will curse his parents. Even after that, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, إِذَا مَاتَ الْإِنسَانِ or Ibn Adam, Hadith Abu Hurairah, fi Sahih al-Muslim, when the son of Adam dies, or when the human being dies, إِلْقَطَ عَمَلُهُ إِلَّا مِنْ ثَلَاثِ His deeds, the righteous deeds, will stop except from three sources. The first one is what? وَلَدٌ صَالِحٌ يَدْعُ لَهُ if the child is not righteous and pious, so after you leave this world, he's not going to make dua for you. Uh, the third loss in the day of resurrection, subhanallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, قُلْ Say to them, O Muhammad, قُلْ إِنَّ الْخَاسِرِينَ The true losers, those who are really losers, الَّذِينَ خَسِرُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ وَأَهْلِيهِمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ those who will lose their, themselves and their children in the day of resurrection. Because there is another side to this, subhanallah. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَاتَّبَعَتْهُمْ ذُرِّيَّتُهُمْ بِإِيمَانٍ أَلْحَقْنَا بِهِمْ ذُرِّيَّتَهُمْ وَمَا أَلَتْنَاهُمْ مِنْ عَمَلِهِمْ مِنْ شَيْءٍ كُلُّ مْرِئٍ بِمَا كَسَبَ رَهِينَ You know, if you die as righteous person, as a believer, as a Muslim, and you uh, implemented your Islam, and your offspring followed you with Islam and the implementation of Islam with Iman, with Iman, you will be joined together in Jannah. So, uh, what a calamity this is that a person ends up having a son who is not righteous or pious in spite of doing the work. I understand that if you did not do the work, that is understandable. But the fact that you did your best and yet your child ended up to be not righteous, it's a heartbreaking experience. And that is why I want to share the story of Nuh and his son with you today. Don't doubt Nuh that he did not reform his son. Nuh was sent to his people, and you know how long he spent calling them to righteousness and piety? 950 years. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا نُوحًا إِلَىٰ قَوْمِهِ فَلَبِثَ فِيهِمْ أَلْفَ سَنَةٍ إِلَّا خَمْسِينَ عَامًا Ya Allah, 950 years calling his people to Islam, calling his people to righteousness and piety. The people, what about his own child? He did that. At the end, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to Prophet Nuh alayhi salam, وَأُوحِيَ إِلَىٰ نُوحٍ أَنَّهُ لَنْ يُؤْمِنَ مِنْ قَوْمِكَ إِلَّا مَنْ قَدْ آمَنْ فَلَا تَبْتَئِسْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَفْعَلُونَ It was revealed to Nuh that no one else will believe. Only those who believed, they are done. No, one, no more believers you will have. Huh? Don't despair. A message to the brothers who say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not tell him compromise the religion a little bit make the religion modify the religion a little bit Nuh, so that people they get more clients no like those people let's make Islam a little bit easy on people let's introduce a modern Islam a new Islam la, 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 la. ever ever never ever ever never ever compromise the message no no Allah Allah did not know did not command Nuh. okay make the message easier for them a little bit Nuh, so they can follow you no that's done. وَاصْنَعِ الْفُلْكَ بِأَعْيُنِنَا وَوَحِيْنَا وَلَا تُخَاطِبْنِي فِي الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا إِنَّهُمْ مُغْرَقُونَ Now I want you, O Nuh, to construct an ark, a ship. And we're going to show you how to do it. And don't speak to me about those who will drown about those who did not believe because they will drown. 
ويصنع الفلك وكلما مر عليه ملأ من قومه سخروا منه يا الله he was building the constructing that ark that ship in the desert of course Allah told Prophet Nuh alayhi salam that all of earth will become a sea will become an ocean because all of earth will flood so it makes sense that you could build a ship on the desert because normally for the person who does not know what Nuh alayhi salam knows, that you need to build that ship on the shore of the sea so that it can start sailing. But uh, the people did not realize that all of earth will flood. Here is the, so they started mocking him. Look at this man. He's building a ship in the desert. Man. Making fun out of Nuh alayhi salam. What was his reaction? قال إن تسخروا منا فإنا نسخر منكم كما تسخرون فسوف تعلمون من يأتيه عذاب يخزيه ويحل عليه عذاب مقيم. If you are making us, we're making you too. You will find out who will be punished. حتى إذا جاء أمرنا وفارت النور قل نحمل فيها من كل زوجين اثنين وأهلك وأهلك إلا من سبق عليه القول ومن آمن وما آمن معه إلا قليل When the time is up Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Prophet Nuh alayhi salam to get on the ship and took the, take the believers with you and take from everything pairs, two pairs on the ark. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destined for that ship to sail. وَقَالَ ارْكَبُوا فِيهَا بِسْمِ اللَّهِ مَجْرِيهَا وَمُرْسَاهَا إِنَّ رَبِّي لَغَفُورٌ رَّحِيمٌ And Sayyidina Nuh alayhi salam told his people, the people who believed, get on the ship, let's sail, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it sail. Indeed, Allah is forgiving, Allah is merciful. There was somebody who was supposed to be on that ship with Nuh alayhi salam. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised Nuh alayhi salam to save his son, to save his family, all of his family, to spare them. So Sayyidina Nuh alayhi salam looked into the ship. He did not see one of his sons. He did not get on the ship because he did not believe. The ship is sailing and Prophet Nuh alayhi salam spotted his son and he started talking to him let's find out what he told him and how his son reacted and how the whole thing ended let's take a short break and come back to the best of stories assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh there is only one god la ilaha illallah Lord of both the earth and sky, who knows all the answers to where, what, and why, there is only one God, la ilaha illallah.